Duterte to sign 2019 budget soon Arroyo. President Rodrigo Duterte will sign the proposed P3.8 trillion 2019 national budget soon, House Speaker Gloria McPigal Arroyo confirmed on Wednesday. In an ambush interview, the Pampanga 2nd District Representative said Malakinang has already given them a date, but she did not specify when. The country would continue to operate under the 2018 re-enacted budget until the president signs the expenditure plan. He earlier vowed that he would not sign an illegal budget bill. I think it will be signed soon and every year, the president does line item vetoes. So they're just working now I think on what will be the line item vetoes. But there's already a date for us to go to Malakinang, the former president told reporters. Arroyo did not give further details on what portions on the General Appropriations Bill, GAB, could be vetoed. Senate President Vicente Sato III signed the GAB on March 26, but he asked the chief executive to veto the P75 billion worth of local infrastructure programs which he said was unconstitutionally realigned by the House after the budget bill was ratified on February 8. House Appropriations Committee Chair Orlando Andaya Jr. maintained that the realignments the House made were not post-ratification because these had been authorized by the Bicameral Conference Committee report, and did not exceed the expenditure ceilings of respective departments and agencies as approved in the Bicam report. And AI had also accused the Senate of sabotaging Duterte's programs by unilaterally deciding to cut down about P83.7 billion of allocation for priority projects, including those under the Build, Build, Build Infrastructure Plan. Sato said and AI's allegations were made as a last-ditch effort to influence the president not to veto their legal realignment. Meanwhile. Senator Panfilo Luxon has owned up to most of the cuts in the GAB because of the alleged presence of illegal pork barrel or lump sum, discretionary funds primarily used to fund pet projects. <laughs>